Hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use various tools on Photoshop, including the magic wand selection tool, the eyedropper tool, various brushes, the eraser and the opacity tool uh, to create a colouring in uh, activity like the one you see below. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go on to lesson seven colouring in Weeping Woman using the Photoshop tools. And if you scroll down, I have put two images that you need to save. This is the first one, which is the colouring in activity. So it just has black outlines, very simple black outlines. And this is the original image that you are going to copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go save as, and we're going to put this um, into our folder. So um, I'm just going to put it in my VA folder on my desktop. So I'm just going to find it, which is, so you may need to find yours. So there's, I'm just going to put it in here. So I know where it is. It's called Picasso Color In, right? And I'm also going to save this one as well, because I need them both to complete this task. So save image as and it's called Weeping Woman 1937. I'm going to put it in the same folder. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Photoshop. Okay, so this is Photoshop here, and I'm just gonna go File Open, and I'm going to, oops, get rid of that. I'm just gonna go Open. I'm gonna go here, okay? And I'm gonna simply open both those images. So I click Open. And here I am, I'm already, I've got, I'm in my VA folder here and I'm going to open Picasso Color In, open. And then I'm going to go File Open again. And I'm going to open up the colored version, right? So there I've got both. And if you have a look up here, I've got two tabs open. I've got this one. And I've got that one. So how I'm going to have to put, how am I going to put them both on the same page? Well, I'm going to show you that now. Before I do that, just make sure you go up to window and that you check layers, right? You need your layers for this activity that you also have history checked, which I do. And my tools are missing. So your tools are here. Just click on that. And now you've got your tools. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both images on my screen at the same time. So what I need to do is go window, arrange, and I want them to be two up horizontal, side by side, basically. So two up, actually, no, two up vertical. You can see these little pictures there, they help you. So two up vertical. And there we go. I've got both images up at the same time. Perfect. Okay, just move those out of the way. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the magic wand. Now, so this is my magic wand here. Um, this is probably the, the simplest tool to use for this activity. Next time, next lesson, I'm going to show you some more complicated tools, but this will do for this lesson. So the magic wand is a really simple tool to use when you have an enclosed area. So if I click there, it, it sees this enclosed space quite easily. I'm going to select all these orangey red areas. Okay. So I'm going to click on all those. So if, what you can do is go up here and this allows you to add to your selection. So I'm gonna add more areas. So I'm gonna do them all at once. So I'm gonna add that, add that. You can see that this isn't, this isn't 100% accurate. It's been simplified to make it easier to, for you to, um, to, to paint, okay? And I think most of her hair is also, oops, See what happens when this when it's not joined. So I'm not. I'm going to go backwards in history. I'm not happy with that. So if that happens to you, uh, I will show you how to do change that next lesson. I won't show it to you now. 
just make sure that you only select the areas that you intend to color. Now, I want this color. I'm not going to guess how to get that color. What I will do, however, is I'm going to use the eyedropper. This eyedropper samples color from an image. So I'm going to use that to sample this color. Did you notice when I clicked, this changed? This is called foreground color. This is called background color. I can have two colors going at the same time. In fact, when I was doing this last night, I was using green and you can see it's still there. So this is what I want. I want that at the front. And the final step is now to fill these selected areas with the marching ants with that orange color. So I'm going to go edit, fill, and it's going to ask me, what do you want me to fill it with? Would you want me to fill it with the foreground color, the background color, a different color, a gray, black, white patterns? I'm gonna pick foreground color because that's the color I want. I'm gonna click okay, and there we go. It's basically filled uh, all those parts of the painting with that exact shade of orange. Only thing missing is the texture. I'm not going to worry about that today. That's something I will show you next lesson. Now, I need to get rid of those little marching ants so that I can select new areas. So there's a shortcut for that. I hope you remember what it is. It's Command D, D for D select. So I'm just going to click Command D and I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do some of the yellow, some of this yellow background. So I'm going to sample this shape. No, actually, no, I'm going to select first. I'm going to select all the yellow areas. So I'm going to select that and that and part of her face. Okay. And actually, I'm going to select her hand. Even though it's got green in it, I'm, I can add next lesson. I'm going to show you how to add green to that as well. And I'm going to then go to my eyedropper and I'm going to sample. I'm going to sample this yellow. They're slightly different, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to sample that. There's that yellow there. And then I'm just going to go edit, fill. And I'm going to fill it with the foreground color. That's this box here. Okay. That's the foreground color. That's called background. So that's the foreground. Click OK. And there we go. And then Command D. So I'm going to keep doing that till it's completely colored in. And then I'm going to save it. Okay. I'm just going to pretend that it's pretty much complete um, for today. Even if it's not, you can still save it and continue with your work. I'm just going to show you the layers. You can see I've actually been directly painting onto that layer, okay? That's another thing. I could put that on a different layer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that next lesson. So just going to show you how to save it. Let's pretend it's all done now. I'm just going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save it on my computer in my VA folder, and I'm going to call it um, Color In. Um, edit because I don't want to save over the original. So I'm just going to call it edit. I'm giving it a different name. I can save it as a JPEG because there's only one layer. It doesn't matter. If I had lots of layers and I wanted to open those layers up again, I would actually save it as a Photoshop, but it's okay. I'll save it as a JPEG because there's only one layer anyway. Then I click save. Okay. So that is basically our first step in colouring in um, Weeping Woman using Photoshop. Next lesson, I'm going to show you how to add some of these beautiful textures to your work. Okay, so that's it for now. And um, have a go. Thanks, guys.